Using fly-by-wire controls, the pilot can maneuver the plane to its full potential, a potential sometimes beyond the capacity of the pilot himself. The computerized flight control system monitors every movement of the aircraft and every control activated by the pilot. It also permits aircraft to depart from conventional design requirements. With traditional flight control systems, an aircraft had to be designed with inherent stability, often at the expense of optimal maneuverability. Fly-by-wire eliminates these design limitations. Instead of building inherently stable aircraft, designers using fly-by-wire technology can produce planes that are substantially less stable and thus much more maneuverable. Fly-by-wire allowed Dassault to return to its classic Delta design in the Mirage 2000 fighter. The computer-assisted flight controls compensated for any shortcomings in the Delta wing configuration. Les commandes de vol gomment un petit peu les, les défauts qu'il y avait sur les Delta classiques. Dès qu'on prenait beaucoup d'incidences sur un avion Delta classique, euh, l'avion s'enfonçait et, et pouvait devenir euh, très difficile à piloter. Euh, sur un Mirage 2000, euh, les commandes de vol empêchent d'atteindre ces, ces incidences et donc euh, l'avion reste toujours pilotable. Côté des becs sur les, les Delta à, à commande de vol électrique, qui améliore quand même considérablement les qualités de l'avion à basse vitesse. Et on ne pouvait pas le mettre sur un avion Delta normal parce que l'avion aurait été réellement impilotable. Il n'y a que les commandes de vol électrique qui permettent de, de piloter ce, cet avion. The Mirage 2000 pilot could fly the aircraft to the very limits of its maneuvering envelope without fear of entering into an unrecoverable position. Although the Mirage 2000 most closely resembles its 1960s ancestor, the Mirage 3, its role is more akin to that of its predecessor, the F-1. Designed as a multi-purpose fighter, the Mirage 2000 is capable of both air-to-air -air combat and ground attack strikes. There are two distinct variants of Mirage 2000s. The Mirage 2000C is mainly intended for dogfighting. The 2000D, a two-seat version, was designed for long-range, deep-strike missions with modern guided munitions. In this variant, a weapons officer who manages the attack radar and weapons systems occupies the second seat. The Mirage 2000 strike fighters are equipped with a variety of strike weapons. During the 1991 Gulf War, French aircraft used the laser-guided AS-30L missile to devastate hardened Iraqi aircraft shelters, sometimes guiding the bomb right through open doors. The Mirage 2000 is armed with the Apache cruise missile. The stealthy Apache is a standoff weapon, launched more than 80 miles from its target to avoid exposing the Mirage to enemy air defenses. The Apache flies into enemy territory and delivers its submunitions against the target. These can include specialized munitions for attacking massed tank formations or disabling airfields and runways. Unlike its striker cousin, the Mirage 2000C is mainly intended for the classic interceptor mission of engaging enemy aircraft. In modern air-to-air -air combat, the fighter who engages first and at the greatest range usually wins. Vital to spotting and engaging the enemy first is the aircraft's radar. 
la, la capacité est, est, est de pouvoir engager euh, loin, parce que ça reste un missile euh, à longue portée, euh, loin, plusieurs avions simultanément, sans rentrer dans la phase d'engagement de combat rapproché. In older generations of fighters, radar could track only enemy aircraft at the same altitude or higher. Enemy aircraft flying near the ground got lost in the clutter of the landscape. But advances in radar now permit fighters like the Mirage 2000C to locate and attack enemy aircraft flying below them. It's called look down, shoot down capability. Très important parce que euh, d'abord une, une grande partie de la menace reste euh, sur les avions qui volent près du sol, soit des cruise missiles, soit des avions euh, pilotés. Et aussi de la basse altitude. Donc il est très important que les avions soient capables non seulement de voir vers le sol, mais aussi de tirer vers le sol. The Mirage Jet's superior combat abilities were demonstrated during 1991's Operation Desert Storm, codenamed Operation Dage by French forces. Ground attack missions were performed by a squadron of Jaguars and a squadron of Mirage F-1s. Mirage 2000s of the 5th Fighter Squadron operated out of al Assa Air Base on combat air patrol missions to prevent Iraqi air attacks to Saudi Arabia. Widely exported, Mirage jets have seen combat around the globe. The Mirage 3 was made famous by the Israeli Air Force in the 1967 Mideast War. The Mirage was later improved in Israel and evolved into the Kafir fighter. The South African Air Force also used Mirages extensively in combat flying the Mirage 3 and F-1. One has seen uh, combat in um, southern Angola, as well as other um, areas in Africa. We have flown over 1,800 combat missions in both the air to ground as well as the air to air role. The missions were mainly in the air to air role interception, as well as uh, combat air patrols, and in the air to ground role, mainly strike and interdiction roles. During the fighting over Angola, Mirage F-1s were confronted with a wide array of advanced Soviet-made radar-guided missiles. But these formidable defenses were evaded by flying in under the radar. 